What's up bros? Busby sent me one of their new Thunder Shots for free and today we're going to check it out. And as you can see, this is a giant pistol. Here's the front of the package. Here's the back of the package. Let's open it. Inside the packaging you get the blaster and you get 10 darts. So first thing, this is a pretty big blaster and I like it. I like how it's, you know, big obviously and kind of cartoonish because it's so big. I first can say that the grip is made for younger nerfers because even though it's big, the finger spaces in the grip are for smaller hands. So that's a good thing. Because in general, these blasters aren't made for dudes my age. They're made for younger players. Now let's compare it to the Nerf Hammer Shot. And I have mine here, and this is my modded one. And I forgot how cool this blaster is. And if you want to see a video on that, I have one on here. But let's look at the size comparison. I mean, this thing is way bigger. The grip may be about the same, but from about here on is much bigger. And I think this is a gun I would like to mod. I mean, I think it'd be really cool with an awesome paint job. So let's take a closer look at it. It's a revolver and um, you've got the hammer here which primes the blaster by pulling it back. And when it does, it rotates the cylinder here. You have the trigger to fire. And that's basically it. There's nothing tactical about this. It's kind of like an Old West revolver. One thing is you have to use two hands to prime it because the hammer is so far away, if you, you can't do that one-handed. So you're gonna have to do that two-handed. And it may be best to grab the barrel and do that. I didn't mention earlier, but it does have a front sight. And I guess you could call this a rear sight, although there's nothing kind of notched in the middle of it. All right, bros, it comes with 10 of their darts, and these are very similar to Nerf Elite darts, except they have angular tips than round tips. The cylinder holds eight rounds, and so to use this blaster, you just put the darts in the rounds. And what's interesting is you cannot see the darts sticking out of the cylinder like that. These push all the way inside, so you don't know if the person has darts or not. I think that's cool. And to use it, you just pull the trigger back, and then you aim and fire. When the blaster's not primed, there's no tension on the trigger. So let's chrono it. 66 .8, 60.8, 60.2, 58.1, 60.2, 58.1, 60.4, and 58.2. So the average is around 60. Let's go ahead and field test this blaster. All right, guys, I'm gonna be testing the accuracy of this thunder shot by shooting this little target here. Guys, I'm gonna shoot DJ Yonder with a thunder shot. All right, so this looks pretty cool in my opinion. It's stronger than I thought it would be and it's also more accurate but it is kind of uncomfortable to shoot it and like pull this back but I mean it's pretty cool all right bros now I'm going to do a long range accuracy test by shooting at DJ yonder over there who's about 50 feet away
All right, bros. Next, I'm going to do a range test by shooting at that garage over there that's about 75 feet away. Okay, bros, one thing I didn't notice until later is under the barrel, this part of the blaster on both sides has a little slot that's kind of like cut out or made so it's easier to load the darts right there, like that. I think this pistol would be best used in CQB or close quarter combat. The accuracy was decent and I think if you like big revolvers, then I recommend it. All right, guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to the Broccoli Christian. The next shout out goes to Brianna the Bird. The next shout out goes to Isam Benson. The next shout out goes to Oisin O'Connor. The next shout out goes to the TAC Camo Kid. The next shout out goes to the Doom of Life. The next shout out goes to Fernando Grieb. The next shout out goes to Hunter Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to Cherry. The next shout out goes to Aaron James Albida. The next shout out goes to Sheikh Ali. The next shout out goes to Joseph Doyle. The next shout out goes to Hunter Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Hey the Gamer 630. The next shout out goes to Mohammed Abdullah. The next shout out goes to Yin Nguyen. The next shout out goes to Sammy Nerf Boy. The next shout out goes to Frankie Garcia. The next shout out goes to Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger. Hey bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy. Peace out.